Hi guys, so this is my second vlog for The, the Bluest Eye, and um, my topic is not exactly something I've considered deeply. I just flipped open to a page, and it stuck out to me, and now I'd like to discuss it. So it's on page 108, and um, the girl is the girl is um, Pecola's little sister. I can only assume. I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure. So it's the second paragraph. Another door opened, and in walked a little girl, smaller and younger than all of us. She wore a pink sunback dress and pink fluffy bedroom slippers with two bunny ears pointed up from the tips. Her hair was corn yellow and bound in a thick ribbon. When she saw us, fear danced across her face for a second. Um, so, in this paragraph, when they um, talk about this little girl, I was a little confused because they do say her hair, or Morrison says her hair is corn yellow, which makes me think that she's a blonde girl, but given that I'm assuming she's Piccola's little sister, I'm also assuming she's black, and I think my greater assumption is that she's black. I don't really know how her hair could be corn yellow, but I, I guess I don't really have a quick picture in my head. But because my observation or topic of discussion is because this girl is so young, um or sorry, um, in this paragraph, there's all these positive, cute, um, sort of just, yeah, I would say optimistic, cute um, adjectives, like pink sunback dress, pink fluffy bedroom slippers, um, and it just, it just puts a good, a cute image in your head, and um, I think it is, oh, to contrast, um, if you flip to page 123, um, Pauline is, it seems kind of almost like a diary entry, and it's the first line, the onlyest time I'd be happy seemed like when I was in the picture show. So this is when Pauline is obviously a lot older, and so it seems like, and you know, she's, it seems like she's needing or getting an escape from reality. Whereas the little girl is just cute and in a pink sunback dress, um, just seems kind of worryless. And I think it's kind of representative of the naivety, I don't know how to say it, um, of being young. Especially when this girl, I don't even know her name, the little girl, um, but she has, she has never been subjected or not she's never been subjected, but she's, she's, she doesn't know what's coming for her. Like, she's in, in society and in, yeah, in, I guess in the society that she's growing up within, because she's so young and the world is just a bright place and she has so much to experience. And then, you know, Pauline, who's much older, has experienced racism and Poverty, I think. I kind of can't remember, but she's just had so many unfortunate circumstances. Life has just beaten her and beaten her down. And now um, movies are her escape from reality, her like kind of unpleasant reality. So I just thought that was such a weird and intriguing parallel because um, one girl is depicted with so much positive and cute imagery, whereas then we flip to Pauline, who's older, and is saying that the only time she's happy is when she's at the movies not thinking about her life. So, and of course she didn't specifically say not thinking about her life, but that is just my interpretation. So, um, I guess I just invite you to ponder that because that's something that I've kind of been mulling over and it's just, it was kind of a theory that I had um, concocted. So if any of you are watching and want to share your thoughts or opinions, please do. I'd love to hear them.